Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 has now been out for a few weeks, and this has been one of the best Fortnite seasons of all time. But if you guys want to use a tryhard skin and you aren't really sure which one to use, then this is the video for you because today we're looking at the 27 most tryhard skins in Season 2. We're going to be talking about some OG skins, some of the newer skins, and some Battle Pass skins as well. So make sure you guys watch all the way through and let me know what skin you are going to be using in Season 2. If you guys do want a chance to win a free Battle Pass as well, make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button if you haven't already and if this video can reach 2,000 likes then i'll be giving away a bunch of free battle passes in the comments down below we need to get started off guys in the number 27 position and we have zeus now this might not be the most try hard skin that we see during this season but i feel like because it was just added in the battle pass we are going to be seeing a bunch of people using it and it probably will become quite popular just from that and usually when skins are popular they do end up just becoming try hard as well i feel like a lot of the most popular skins do see some people using them in the ranked game modes and i feel like that really does help gain its popularity in the more competitive scene as well including tournaments so that might end up happening with zeus as we get more styles for this as well it will just keep on improving so i'm really excited to see what those other styles are one skin that only has one style though is actually mysterious face this is added right at the end of chapter 5 season 1 so i still consider this one of the newest skins in the game it looks really clean i love the design of this and and it is very similar to some of the more expensive and exclusive skins that we do have in Fortnite, especially Glow. This has a very similar design to that skin. It actually sort of reminds me a little bit of something like Kuno as well, and even Core, and we know how good those skins actually are. I've been a really big fan of this, so I feel like a lot of pros and streamers were actually using this when it first got added to the game, but since it was added right at the end of a season when we just got a bunch of brand new skins in the Battle Pass as well, I feel like it really took people's attention away from that skin and now people are just going to be using some of the newer skins that we do actually have one skin that has also been very try hard but just never got the popularity that it deserved would have to be zadie as you guys know this is one of the most try hard skins of all time it was first added back during chapter 2 season 1 and you can actually pick this up for 1200 v bucks that is such a good price considering there are three different edit styles for this skin sometimes skins that do have three or four different styles are really really expensive or you can only get them in the battle pass so i think it was really clean that you could actually get this for quite a cheap price the only problem with this though is that it never really got the popularity that it deserved i mean it seemed like a bunch of pros and streamers did end up using this along with try hard players as well but the more casual fans never ended up buying it and that has pretty much been why it is one of the most underrated skins in the game today we have actually seen a few remakes of this as well though included in the agency renegades bundle but we might talk about that a little bit later on for right now though we need to move on to another skin that is very similar and this is pit stop you can actually pick this up for 1200 v bucks and it actually has one extra edit style than we see with zadie with four different styles of this skin i feel like that is truly incredible four styles for a skin this well designed is so so sick some of the edit styles do look really similar though which might be the only downside to this but i'm still a huge fan of it and feel like this skin deserves to be a lot more popular today it is very similar to zadie though where it is popular in the more competitive game modes we have seen a bunch of pros and streamers using it in the past as well but i feel like it just never gained the popularity in the more casual game modes and that is really where we see a bunch of people using some of the more popular skins one of those skins that we have seen a bunch of people using though would have to be the surf witch this is just known as one of those skins that is always going to be considered try hard in fortnite i mean i don't know how long i'm going to be talking about this skin on my channel because i've talked about it so many times in the past it used to be in the top five skins of all time i feel like everyone was using it and now that it just has been in the game for a while i feel like people are starting to use some of the other skins that we do actually have this is still really clean though and all it would take for this to become a lot more popular again was if fortnite did add a new style for it but that honestly might be something that happens throughout chapter five that takes us to the number 22 position guys and we have caper now this definitely has dropped off in the past it was an amazing skin during chapter four but i feel like people just overused it and for whatever reason thought that the original superhero skins were the better highly customized skins and caper has dropped off a lot i'm still a big fan of it i think it is a really unique take on these superhero skins and at least it is something different as well you can customize them in a bunch more ways you can also add smaller details which make it more unique and i feel like that is really clean there is always a possibility that they do add in more edit 
set styles for this in the future to maybe make these popular once again but i feel like it really depends on pros and streamers to see if this does become tryhard in fortnite for chapter 5 season 2. moving forward guys to the number 21 position we have manic this is one of the cheapest skins in the game coming in at only 800 v bucks and fortnite are continually updating this as well with brand new edit styles because this started off as one skin with only one style we then got two styles added during chapter 2 which is manic with red hair and then we got a fourth edit style added in chapter 3 which included a green and black edit style and that has to be one of my favorite ones i feel like that does look the best more people though do prefer to use the default style of this though and i feel like that is still my all-time favorite especially if you are using this in the more competitive game modes and if i am recommending a style for you guys to use then it would have to be between the default red style or of course the green edit style as well if you guys are waiting to buy this skin then you are probably in luck because this does feature in the store like every two weeks but one skin that is a little bit more rare would have to be travis scott this is one of the rarest skins in the history of fortnite and it is only featured in the item shop once this was back during chapter 2 season 2 and this is when we had the travis scott concert taking place in fortnite it is such a rare skin i don't remember the last time i saw anyone actually using this especially in the more casual game modes just because of how rare it actually is i love the way it looks though surprisingly we also have two styles for this skin as well but people really only seem to notice the default style of this skin i feel like the terminator edit style is my favorite it just looks so unique and so different to every other skin that we have in the game and it is also a way for you to stand out from everyone else using Travis Scott. So if you are wanting to be a tryhard player and use Travis Scott, then the Terminator edit style is going to be the best style to use. Obviously, it is so rare though. So if you guys don't want to wait around for this to be added back, then something like Artemis might be a better choice. This is added to the game in the Chapter 5 Season 2 Battle Pass, so you can actually pick this up for 950 V-Bucks. It sort of has that galaxy or glowing effect to it, which is really clean. But what they have done well with this is only part of the skin has that galaxy effect it doesn't feel like it is overwhelming or taking over the entire skin because we already have a bunch of skins in fortnite that sort of do play on that galaxy theme or that galaxy effect so it is really refreshing and nice just to see this being a subtle feature on the skin it is going to set it apart from most of the other skins we are going to be talking about just because it is so detailed and quite unique as well that i feel like for a battle pass skin this has such a unique design and is definitely worth using in Fortnite today. Let's move on, guys, to our next skin, and this is Kuno. Kuno is one of my all-time favorite skins. It is a little bit more expensive than what you might expect for a skin with this design, coming in at 1,500 V-Bucks, but I still think it is worth it, especially now that we do have a second style for this. Back during Chapter 1, we only had the default style, and I feel like that is when this skin probably was a little overpriced, but now it is one of the more popular skins, especially in the competitive game modes, and definitely considered a try hard skin i feel like the blizzard buster kuno might be the best one to use even if you don't like the original kuno skin as well i feel like we also have enough other edit styles for this skin including incinerator kuno that is different enough to where you guys are still going to stand out and it can be considered a try hard skin incinerator kuno might honestly be my favorite but make sure to let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below if you guys do want to use a much newer skin then comet is probably a really good one to use this is added to the game in chapter to five season one i feel like it is one of the lesser known skins that was added during that season as well but it very quickly became popular in the more competitive community a lot of pros and streamers started to use this because it was so unique and so different to all of the other skins we had seen in fortnite up until that point i feel like we hadn't really had too many skins in fortnite added with yellow clothing but that was a really cool touch and definitely made this a unique skin. It can be quite hard to find pickaxes that are going to fit in with this though, which is probably the only downside to this, but I honestly feel like this is similar to Mysterious Fate, where it was just added towards the end of the season, and now that we have a bunch of brand new skins in the game, people are starting to switch from Comet to just some of the newer skins that we do actually have. One skin that is always going to be popular in Fortnite though would have to be Aura. I mean, this only set to back 800 V-Bucks, and we now have... The 
three different edit styles for it, so it is definitely worth buying today. I mean, this originally started as a skin being added in chapter one with two different styles. We sort of had the sweater on or sweater off edit style, and then we got a green and gold edit style added during chapter three. If I had to pick, I honestly feel like the sweater on edit style is my absolute favorite. That is the style that has been the best, and I feel like the most popular as well. But the green and gold edit style is another really good choice. It's going to make you guys stand out a lot. It's completely up to you guys, but if you guys do want to use a skin that is a little bit newer, then something like Agency Renegades Bundle might just be a better choice. Now, this is a bundle, so it does set you back around $20, which is quite expensive considering you only get three skins, and we are really only going to be talking about two, and that is Spycatcher Siren and Shade Zadie. Spycatcher Siren would have to be one of the most underrated skins in the game. I feel like because this was added with a bundle and not just as an edit style for Siren, that is really holding it back from being as good as it could actually be. If this was an edit style for Siren, then we would see so many people using it today, and I feel like that is really holding it back, and the exact same can be said for Shady Zady as well. I feel like this would be one of the better skins that we have in Fortnite if it was an edit style, because so many people own the original Siren skin, but just because now the bundle skins don't seem to get that much popularity, we just don't see that many people using it. I've talked about this a bunch on my channel before though, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of both of these skins, so it is really hard to pick between the two. They can be quite expensive though, so if you guys do want to save some V-Bucks and some money, then I feel like Valeria might be a better choice. This has been a little bit more popular in the past as well, just because this was included with the Chapter 5 Season 1 Battle Pass, and this was actually the Tier 100 skin. It is a little uncommon to have this as the Tier 100 skin. I thought this was a little bit of a unique choice for the Tier 100 skin, especially when we had Peter Griffin added to the Battle Pass, and not as a secret skin, but just as a regular Battle Pass skin. Regardless though, this is still really clean. I do love this skin a lot, and I feel like it is quite underrated in Fortnite now, just because we have moved into a new season. Usually Battle Pass skins don't stay that popular once that season ended, so I feel like Valeria is going to drop off a lot over the next few weeks. Let's move on though guys to a skin that was designed for tryhard players, and this is Odyssey. What I mean by designed by tryhard players is that this skin is literally designed designed for the ranked game mode. The more that you guys rank up in the ranked game mode of Fortnite, the more edit styles for this skin that you are going to unlock. And this skin is actually going to change how it looks, depending on what style you unlock in the ranked game mode. We've been waiting for a skin like this for such a long time. It is so good to finally have incentives to grind out the ranked game mode, but I feel like it was a little bit of an odd choice that you still had to buy this skin. I feel like it would have made a lot more sense for Fortnite to give this skin out for free to everyone that played the ranked game mode. Maybe if you just played five ranked games, then you could actually unlock this skin, and then the color of it would change depending on what rank you got, but you still actually had to buy this, which I feel like is the only downside to this skin. It is still really clean, though. I love the idea of this. I feel like this is only going to help the ranked game mode and hopefully make this skin more popular as well, but we're just going to have to wait and see as the season progresses. Another skin that is actually quite popular in the ranked game modes at the moment would have to be Chani. This is part of the June franchise, and it was actually added in chapter three with all of the other June cosmetics that we got. I feel like now that we have a second June movie, we could see more cosmetics being added to the game. That would be really cool to see. I would love that a lot. I feel like there's so much potential with June in terms of pickaxes and other skins and characters that they could add to the game, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon since the June movie has been out now for a few weeks and there's no sign of a second collab. That would be really clean though. I'm sure a lot of you guys would love that as well, but we may as well move on to another collab skin that has just been a little bit better, and this is Eleven. Eleven has been really tryhard in Fortnite. This is actually added in Season OG as well, and I feel like this was one of the more unexpected skins to get during that season. We've already had Stranger Things items added to the game for a really long time, but none of them really reappeared in the store after they were first introduced back during Chapter 1. But out of nowhere, in Chapter 4 Season 5, we got all of the OG G skins like Chief Hopper and the Demogorgon added back to the game, which is really cool to see. And we also got a brand new skin, which was 11. I feel like this means there is hope for more Stranger Things items to be added to the game in the future, which is what I would absolutely love to see, but we're just going to have to wait and see. 
For right now, a lot of pros and streamers have been using this, but they have been using the test lab edit style of this skin. So if you guys do want to stand out even more, then I feel like by using the default clothed edit style is going to make you guys stand out as much as possible. Nothing is going to make you guys stand out as much as ISO. This is actually a skin that has sort of become a little bit more popular over the last few weeks with a bunch of pros and streamers using it and none bigger than Malabuka, who's actually been meaning this skin pretty much since season two started. This is an incredible skin. It has been in the game for such a long time, but it has always gone under the radar and been one of those underrated skins. I feel like because it is so highly detailed is the reason why we didn't see that many pros or streamers using it. I mean, it is very brightly colored. And if you are playing in the more competitive game modes, then you might not want a skin that is going to make you stand out so much. But I feel like if you are a really good player or a pro or a sweat, this actually might be a skin that you end up loving. And that is why I feel like it is definitely worth using in Fortnite today. That takes us guys to the number nine position and we have the Psycho Bandit. This is one of the most OG skins on this list and one of the most tryhard ones we have ever seen. This did set you back around $40 because you had to buy the Borderlands game in order to get this skin and it has only featured in the item shop once. With a Borderlands movie coming out very soon though, I feel like this might actually be re-added to the store which would be so cool to see. There was a weird glitch where people were getting this skin a few weeks ago so if you were lucky enough to get it then hopefully you have been using it and appreciate how good this actually is. I really wish I had it in my locker. I was playing Fortnite when this was added to the game and decided not to get it because I thought it was too expensive but obviously that was a bit of a mistake now because it is one of the best skins of all time. A lot of the collab skins do end up becoming quite try hard in Fortnite which is quite surprising because a lot of other collab skins never really seem to become that popular but one of them that has is going to be the Polo Prodigy. Polo Prodigy has actually gained a lot of popularity over the last few seasons and for whatever reason since chapter 5 started this has now been one of the more try hard skins. I love the way this looks though I feel like this is so incredible I cannot wait to see if this does stay popular for season 2 as well and I really think it will stay popular for the rest of chapter 5. So far though we do have two styles for this we have a white and red edit style and then a black white and red style. Most of the pros and streamers that are using this have been using the white style but I feel like the black and red edit style might make you guys stand out a little bit more and that would be a really good choice. Let's move on though guys to the number 7 position and we have Aphrodite. Now this might be the best battle pass skin that we have in this season's battle pass and I feel like it will end up becoming the most try hard battle pass skin from this season as well. We have seen so many pros and streamers using it at the moment and I feel like this is just so well designed. So far though, we only have two different styles for this. We have a default style, which has been the more tryhard and popular one. And then we have a pink edit style as well that a few pros and streamers like Ninja have actually been using just to stand out even more. I feel like the default style is still the best. And considering you can get this for only 950 V-Bucks, it is just so, so insane because this is such a good skin. I don't really know if this will ever reach the popularity or tryhard status of something like these superhero skins though, just because they are some of the best skins we have ever seen. These skins do cost 1,800 V-Bucks though. We see most people using the default white or the black edit style. I feel like it would be really, really good to see people using the more creative edit styles for this and change around the colors or even using two different colors on these skins. We have seen a few pros trying to do that in the past, but for whatever reason, they always resort back to using the fully white or the fully black superhero styles. It is insane how popular these skins still are considering they were added to the game during chapter 2 season 4. They have been banned and then re-added and then banned and re-added again as well, which just makes them even funnier. But I still feel like these are some of the most tryout skins we are ever going to see. They have dropped off a little bit though, and people are starting to use skins like the Mogul Masters now in chapter 5. The Mogul Masters are some of the oldest skins in the game. They were added during chapter 1 season 2, and you can pick up each of these skins for 1,500 V-Bucks. It is so insane how expensive this is obviously if these were added to Fortnite today they would actually be one skin with a bunch of different edit styles but because these were added before edit styles were even a thing it is eight 
different skins. Since not everyone is going to be able to buy all of the edit styles for this, and you do have to make a choice on which one you want to use, I feel like the German Mogul Master is going to be a really good option. This is so underrated, it looks really clean as well, and is going to be easy to make combos with. You could always use something like the Canadian, the French, the Korean, or even the Great Britain Mogul Master as well, if you guys do want to stand out even more. Let's move on, guys, to a skin that I prefer even more, and this is Siren. This, again, is a little bit of an OG skin. It was first added during Chapter 2, Season 2, which is known as one of the best Fortnite seasons of all time, and we just had so many amazing skins added to the game at this point as well. This is the same time that we got Midas added and Travis Scott as well, but Siren has definitely been the best skin from this season. It has just been so popular, it has been so tryhard for such a long time as well, and Fortnite even added in a brand new edit style for this at the start of Chapter 5, which really helped boost the popularity of this back up to the top where it belongs. I feel like it did start to drop off during Chapter 4 a lot, and we didn't see that many people using it, especially in Season OG, but now in Chapter 5, it has been really popular, and honestly, I would even say the red edit style is now my favorite. It is just so cool. It is really refreshing to have a different style of Siren in the game as well, but let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below. That then takes us, guys, to the number three position, and we have Lana Lane. Lana Lane was the Fortnite Crew skin for February, and it has been a long time since I've seen a Fortnite Crew skin becoming tryhard in Fortnite, but Lana Lane did exactly that. We are also going to be getting more and more styles for this added to the game over the next six months. We've got a brand new edit style at the start of March, and the way the Fortnite Crew skins operate now is they are pretty much only going to get better and better the longer that you are subscribed to the Fortnite Crew bundle, even if the upcoming skins aren't actually that well designed. You're still going to be getting a bunch of different styles for these, so I feel like the Fortnite Crew Bundle is definitely worth it, and for only $10 a month, I feel like it is such a bargain. You get a 1,000 V-Bucks completely for free, you get a free skin and a free pickaxe, and of course the Battle Pass as well, so it is definitely worth it, and one of the best ways to spend your money in Fortnite. It might not ever reach the popularity or tryhard status though of something like Lara Croft, just because this has to be one of the best skins of all time. This is one of the only skins that has become more popular once her season ended as well. This was first added during Chapter 2 Season 6, and pretty much every other Battle Pass skin from Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, and Chapter 4 has completely dropped off to the point where no one is using it today, but if for some reason Lara Croft is one of the most popular skins still in Chapter 5 Season 2. So many people do end up using the default style of this though, so if you guys do want to change it around and be a little bit unique with this, then I feel like the gold edit style is really worth using. It is so slept on in Fortnite today as well, so that has to be one of my favorite edit styles. But one skin that has to be more tryhard at the moment is Hades. Now, I don't feel like this is going to stay this way for much longer. It is really only tryhard because it is the tier 100 skin, and it is such a grind in order to unlock it. So anyone that you see that is using this skin right now, is going to be very tryhard at Fortnite and probably one of the best players in the game unless they are like me and are a complete noob and just wanted to buy all the levels. This skin has such a good design though. It is definitely one of the best tier 100 skins we've seen in a really long time and I cannot wait to see what the super edit styles for this skin to actually end up looking like. But there you guys go. That is my entire video talking about the 27 most tryhard skins in season two. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and make sure to let me know in the comments down below what skin you are going to be using this season. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.